In this type of valve, pressure flowing through the valve in the normal direction provides system pressure to the top of the diaphragm of the relief valve, and this keeps the relief valve closed. Should system pressure drop, such that the spring pressure of the relief valve can overcome system pressure, what happens is air is let, allowed in because that relief valve opens and it creates an opening between the two check valves causing the check valves to shut and that area is vented to atmosphere and that creates an air gap. So what you see here in green is an air gap between the public water system and the cross-connected system. Well, here we can see uh, different configurations from normal flow to back siphonage, back pressure, or back pressure with leakage. So in the upper left hand corner, under normal conditions, we have water flowing through this double check valve assembly and the relief valve is closed. We have an inlet pressure of 60 PSI. There's a slight drop in head or some head loss through the valve of 55 PSI and you're at 54 PSI leaving the valve. So we have a pressure drop of about 6 PSI through the valve. But this is normal and these pressures will keep the relief valve closed. Well if we have a situation where pressure drops to a negative pressure or drops sufficiently, what happens is this relief valve will open and create an air gap between the two check valves and cause them to close. So you can see that we have 50 PSI to the right that's trying to backflow into the system that's been uh, where the pressure has been reduced to the point of a vacuum. So where back siphonage is trying to occur because of this air gap and the check valves closing, any leak by or any flow back towards the system would actually be discharged to the ground. Next we have a back pressure situation where the system connected to the public system increases its system pressure for some reason. So you can see it's 75 pounds as opposed to the 60 pounds being supplied. Well in this case the check valve will close and not allow flow back into the system. And then the final situation is back pressure with leakage. And you can see that there's a 75 pound pressure on one side and a 60 psi pressure being supplied and there's an obstruction in the check valve. Well what's going to happen is because the relief valve is open due to this difference in pressure you'll see leakage dripping to the ground. So this is an indication that there's a problem with this uh, check valve assembly because there's leak by.